What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon. Sh uh, fuck, I always get these things wrong. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we briefly made it to the uh, wild area. A lot of stuff that we just took in and all that crud, and well. It is time to actually go through Moto Stoke because, as you can see, this is the first. Uh, well, this is another place for tutorials. Now, once you go straight ahead, you're gonna be called over by Sonia, and she's like, "Hey, over there, over here." And there she is. Well, hello, hello there. Again, she is lovely looking. I love looking at her. Release of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like you trick ran your Pokemon ragged though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there that I bet you'll get a kick out of. If you're a real trainer and all. Hmm. What is that supposed to mean? I really wanted to know what that's supposed to mean. So here we are in the Pokemon Center. And look at this big booty Balto herself. And oh, it looks like the Rotom's free. Rot oh, Rotami are kind of Pokemon or Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use, the, uh, use one to customize your league card. Why don't you try uh, playing around with your lead card a bit, Draven? Here, here's a sample for you. And the first one we get is, uh, yes, Leon's card. I thought I was going to get her phone number. Okay, so the lead card shows off your achievements by making a Pokemon lead card. You can customize your card by using the card maker found in every Pokemon Center. Doing so will also update your card with, every, or with all your latest information. Trainers all have their own lead cards, and you can swap cards with other trainers that you connect with using communication features. You can re you can view all the lead cards that you've collected by checking out your album, which you can find uh, you can find in the lead card option of the X menu. But Motosuk sure is big, right? Not to worry, Sonya is here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. Whatever you say, baby. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I th I think how exciting and moving it, it was to actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. Hmm. It is true. It is very, very true. Okay, so here we are in the Pokemon Center. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon because she was not kidding about that whole thing. So let's go ahead. Healing up our Pokemon. Gravy. Look at that. There it is. Pokemon are healed up and ready to go. Like I said, guys, there's a, yeah, there, this is the reason why I don't have a Pokemon box right here on my background because, well, yeah, we don't know what team we're going to be coming up with. It's just going to be a wide array of Pokemon that we're going to be using here. Now, there are two vendors right here, so if you talk to this guy, he'll, you'll be able to buy some more Pokeballs, so, yeah, you're going to be catching me, ca you're going to be seeing me catch a lot of Pokemon right here, guys. So, let's step outside. A girlfriend's right there, but before we do anything, there is something right here that we can actually get. I know I get a little too ahead of myself. We found ourselves a nugget, which can actually give us a little bit more, a little more monies. So let's go straight to our girl, and she's like, "So brilliant, young trainers who's braved the wild area. Do you remember your goal in Motostoke is? Yes, the gym challenge. Yep, the gym challenge opening ceremony. Now I have not covered anything in the wild area." But I will after, you know, this episode. It is going to get lengthy, guys. It really is. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at Motostoke Stadium, okay? Look at that. Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Well, laters, I'm going to swing by the shops while I'm here. But don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? Don't worry about that, baby. Man. I am one lucky you know what okay so as you can see there is another place right here where you can actually buy clothes and get your hair did okay we're gonna do that later again tutorial videos and all that crud uh, right here you can get brownies and all that crud and I think if you talk to this guy he will actually give you an item yes he gives us the TR 13 which is focus energy now TMs and TRs are two different things. He's going to explain to you in just a little bit. The user takes a deep breath and focuses so that uh, critical hits land more easily. TRs are vintage. You can use them uh, use them to have your Pokemon learn rare moves. They break after one use too, which is also an extra old school. Yes, yeah, so we are going back to the old school ways of TRs and TMs and all that crud, guys. 
I kind of didn't like it because, well, you know, I kind of like the unlimited use of TMs, but I guess bringing in the TRs is another way of, like, you know, making sure that <laughs> you don't overuse a certain powerful move. Now, if you go right here, you're going to get noticed by somebody, and that is Charizard. I'd surely never make it to the stadium without you show, uh, showing me the way, partner. Even with a huge old thing like this bang in the middle of the city, I can still get lost. Draven! Alright. One look at one one look tells me that you've become a trainer worthy of the endorsement I gave you. And yes, I reckon you might even be ready to use this. Here, try giving this to your partner to hold. We get ourselves a piece of charcoal, which is great. An item held by a Pokemon, it's combustible fuel that boosts the power of fire type moves. You can take that lift up to the city's upper level if you're headed to the stadium next. We kind of are. We kind of are going to the stadium next. Okay, so let's go straight up and take care of this other tutorial because really has our adventure started yet? And of course, Hop is waiting there for us now. This guy right here is a fixture of the Pokemon. And are you serious? I was trying to talk to the Pokemon. Oh God, I hate you. You made it too, Moto Stoke Stadium. This is the opening ceremony will be held. Everyone will be watching the opening ceremony for the gym challenge. My mom, your mom, the whole world. I'm getting uh, I'm getting me a bit wor uh, nervous, really. Nah, this isn't nerves. I'm only trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Draven. It's time to it's time the world learn our names. Yeah, that is not going to happen because yeah, they're gonna learn me. Okay. So anywho, talk to him. He is a fixture. He is uh, not this kid, but talk to this guy. Ta-da! You look. You took the time to talk to a Pokeball, so you deserve a little reward, and he will give us a Pokeball. Now. In every town, you're gonna, you're actually gonna find this guy. And he's gonna give you a rare Pokeball that you can only find in uh, the Johto region. And so, yep, there we go, going into Moto Stoke Stadium. And look at the, look at this, guys. Again, I am, I am so happy that I have a new gaming computer and the Elgato capture card because look at this, guys. I, I I'm just. I want to try everything, I want to do everything, and yes, I am doing it. Would you take a look at this? The place is packed with gym challengers. Every one of these folks is another rival. Let's get signed up. Hmm. Okay, we're going to get signed up, but who is this? Who are you? Quien es usted? Como talivu? It's a lot of uh, languages right there, and well, this guy doesn't even say excuse me, he's just like, seriously, what a piece of work. If you're here to register the gym challenge, I'll need your endorsement, please. And well, we're going to be giving our endorsements straight from the champ himself. Look at that, I'm giving that to him. Fancy that, this is the first time we've had a challenger endorsed by the champion. Well, now that you two, that we, you've had uh, you two, because I, uh, I am as well. Oh wow! What? Two of you at once? I wonder. I wonder what's to come over Leon this year. The two of you must have been something special. I'm Hop. I'm Leon's little brother. In fact, the next champion. Give me all signed up, would you? Uh, well, yes, I'm trying to. If you'll just give me a moment. <laughs> wow, what a smug kind of person right here. There, you two have been successfully registered to the Gym Challengers. You can now choose your preferred number for your uniform if you be so kind. It will be displayed on the back of your uniform and you must wear it for any official match. So, we can pick up to three numbers right here. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. My favorite number is six, but here's another thing too, guys. If you guys haven't noticed, yes, I've been playing football. I'm back at playing football, believe it or not. You know, just to, you know, kick some butt, take some names and all that stuff. So I'm going to go with the number that I am currently wearing. Yes, good old Draven War, number 37. There it is, number 37, very well. That's a very odd number, but you know what? It's my number. And here, please wear, uh, please wear this challenge band at all times to identify you as a gym challenger. The opening ceremony for the gym challenge is to be held here tomorrow. All trainers taking part have been booked a room at the nearby Badoo drop-in. That's the league chairman for you! He even booked us a hotel room! I'm off to check the fancy digs! Hmm. He is so excited. Okay, so let's see. We are gonna be moving on ahead and we'll. Hello there. How you doing? I do like myself some goth girls. 
You're looking a bit godsmacked by all of this. You must be from some small country town. Is that is that is that it? I'm quite the same myself. Ooh rah rah. Ha! Okay, so let's see. We gotta get the heck out of here and uh, check out the hotel rooms that you know we got hooked up with. Yeah, we're gonna be partying all day, partying all night. And uh, wait, you must be Challenger Draven. No, I'm actually Gym Leader Draven. But okay, the Badoo drop in is down this way. If you would be so kind to follow me. All right, we're gonna be following him right here. And uh, well, there we go. We're gonna be following, 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 tippy toeing. Jibbity, 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 jibbity. There it is. And, uh, well, there he is. Challenger Driven. We have arrived at the Badoo Inn drop-in. Look at that. Huh. Try and get some rest and build your strength for the uh, for what's to come. Okay, whatever you say, homeboy. Okay, so... We're going to be going into the hotel room right here, guys. And we're going to be taking care of business right now. Look at that. There is a huge statue. It looks pretty darn awesome. And, well, there's my girlfriend right there, Sonia. Hiya! Looks like the both of you got yourselves registered. Oh, hey, Sonia. What are you doing in our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that uh, that are said to be the, at the Slumbering Weald. I reckon if I look into some of the Galar's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're here already anyway. Hmm, okay. Well, let's see. Look at that. That looks like Thor. What's this then? It's a statue of a hero who once saved the Galar region. I could run through the legend right, uh, right quick if you fancy. Uh, yeah, give us all the details. Screw it. I love hearing her talk. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero bearing a sword and shield. Wink, wink. This statue here is meant to depict the young hero of the legend. We still don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had. And that this black storm is supposedly or supposed to be just another mystery. Whatever it, whatever it was, it blotted out the skies all across Galar. I suppose that tracks with uh, being called the darkest day, but still... Huh, I suppose the hero must have been about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you're here to have your hands full with plenty of research through, uh, those, uh, so Sonya. Black storms and swords and shield and all? You'll be alright, Sonya, come on. Don't listen to this kid. <laughs> thanks. I'll muddle through somehow, don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you... Oh, wait, 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 let me read that again because I don't really have emotion in that, guys. I'm sorry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Yes, we are. Probably so. And we'll look out for you too, Sonya. If we hear anything about the hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. Uh, we'll tell you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ourselves registered. But unfortunately for us, uh, yeah, there's a group of people right here. Like Team Yell, what the heck? Hey, man. We came all this way to the big city so that we could probably cheer the, on the gym challengers. Team Yell is here to help. After all, you're in a battle if you want to stop us. I'm up for it. Okay, so I guess we're going to be battling these guys in... Whoa! Oh, <laughs> look at this! Punk rock. Rock on, guys. Rock on. Didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way, you're in for a battle. Team Yell is about to help him. Helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now you're going to help us make some noise. Okay. Whatever you say, let's go. Our first Team Yell challenge, and it's up, uh, up against a grunt right here. And look at that, he's coming out with a Zigzagoon. Galarian Zigzagoon, which is pretty awesome. And well, here we have the new and improved Bex. Let's go right ahead, Double Kick. And there's one, and Zigzagoon is done. Look at that, okay. Alrighty, okay, super effective, pretty good. And everybody's great growing some levels right there, which is great. Bonesaw level 15, and well... <laughs> We're looking for a fight and I lost! I'm so pathetic. Yes, you are. You're very pathetic. Okay. Oh, wait! Give me a break here. Team Yell, get revenge for me, would ya? Wait, we have to battle every single one of these guys? Because, uh, that's not fair. Of course, I've got you covered, mate. What could be better than a battle in a lovely hotel lobby? 
Okay, so here we go. Another battle against a Team Yell Grunt. And, well, she's going to be coming out with a Nikit. Nikit, 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 Nikit. I can't even pronounce that right. I don't care. Let's go right ahead and do the same thing. Double kick. Now, this is probably like, you know, giving giving Bex the experience candy might have overleveled them just a tad bit. But, you know what? It's just to show you guys what I've learned throughout this game. And just like that, we have defeated another Team Yell person, Grunt, and all that crud. And, well... Yes, she, she she feels like she's pathetic too. Okay. Ah, man, the swanky, sophisticated Aaron here had me off my game. I couldn't keep my cool. I wasn't expecting checking uh, in would be such a big fuss, Draven. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? Don't you think you can get ahead of me that easily? I need to get some training in, so I'm joining. Here, I'll even heal up your Pokemon. Yeah, I really don't want to battle with you, but okay. I'm Hop, one of the one of this year's gym challengers, and the one who's gonna win the next year, or who's gonna be the next champion. Now let us have a nice two on two. Oh my god. Okay, so the main reason to why I don't like yell or uh, not yell, but Hop is because I'm the champ. I'm going to be the champ. I will be the champ, and then when I get when he gets his butt kicked, <laughs> he ain't the champ at all. Trust me on that one, guys. It's gonna be hilarious when it happens. And well, in double battles, he's pretty useless with me. Well, because you know he starts off with Wulu, his starter Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and you know do the job for him because well you know. So here comes a quick attack. They're gonna attack the weakest link right here with Wulu, and here comes a double kick. And Nikki has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And well, here comes a. Nice experience points right there. My Pokemon are growing, and well, here, Shadow Blade is growing, is learning Fury Attack. So let's go right ahead and let's see. Uh, let's take away, let's take away Leer for just the time being right here. And just like that, we get more experience points. And well, here comes a Tackle Attack. Not really gonna do much right there. So Zigzag Goon gets hit pretty hard. Here comes a Snarl. That hits us both. And it will weaken my special attack just a little bit. But we don't need special attacks right here to beat Zigzagoon. So let's go straight for a double kick again. I will capture you, Zigzagoon. And I will make you mine. Yeah, buddy. And just like that, we have defeated another Pokemon trainer. Well, well we defeated both of these guys, which is great. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. And guess it was defeated I heard it was coming. I think I'm about to cry. Well, hello there. What are you lot doing here? Marty! No, 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 no nothing. We just, we was just, uh, I know all, I know you all terribly curious about the other gym challenges, but you gotta show a bit of restraint. Huh. Well, I've seen you before. Sorry about them, they're just a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell and follow me around cheering for me. I think they they let it all go to their heads a bit. Come on, you lot. Back home with you now. Okay, and well, let's see. They're just, caught, they're just so caught up uh, with wanting to support me and all that they tend to get a bit surety with other gym challengers. Sorry if they caused you any trouble. So you're a gym challenger too? Team Yell, was it? Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. <laughs> well, she 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 does have a beautiful smile. Okay, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and get uh, ourselves registered. So yes, we're gonna get registered right here to the Pokemon Gym Challenge and all that crud. And well, here comes the next day. Yeah, buddy. We got about 16 hours of sleep. This guy playing baseball the next morning. Morning! So this is it. Now my legends really begins. You said that about three times. I'm getting annoyed. Watch out, Draven. I'll beat you at Motostoke Stadium. I really hate him. I really do. Again, guys, I, I hate him. I do. I You guys have heard me say this countless times in the first Sword and Shield walkthrough that I made. I hate him. Gym Challenger, the opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the stadium. Okay, sure. Go right ahead. All right, follow close and be careful not to lose sight of me. You're wearing white, man. 
We made it to the stadium entrance. Please hurry to the opening uh, to the opening ceremony. Okay, let's go to the opening ceremony right here. And uh, well, let's see. Here we are in Motostoke, and all we need to do now is just talk to this individual. He's like Challenger Draven, wasn't it? We must ask all gym challengers to wear their uniforms for the official events. The the opening ceremony marks the beginning of the gym challenge, so you know what that means. That's right. I'll need you to get changed as well. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing right here. We're going to be putting on that fresh 3-7. Looking like the pimps. That's right. Using our pimp hands. Look at that. Look at the kicks. Look at our face. Look at everything. Look at the 3-7. That's right. Wonderful. You look sharp as a pin. And that 3-7 there? 37, my bad. That really is a number for you. Now we're ready at last for the opening ceremony uh, for this year's gym challenge. Okay. All right. I'm about to do this. I'm turning my arms around. And, well, would you look at that. We are in a soccer stadium, or a pitch, as many of you guys soccer fans like to call it. And, well, here is a rose, I think. Look at this guy. Look at the haircut. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to try to read this possible. I am Ch Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone's gathered here and everyone's watching from home have all been waiting for the big moment. It is my pleasure to announce that finally the Galar Region's Gym Challenge will now begin. Okay. Yes, the Gym Challenge. Participants must defeat the eight gym leaders and gather the eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer. Only the most worthy will have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history. That's me, Draven, your best friend. Now I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. And well, look at those guys. Here are the eight gym leaders that we actually have to face in Pokemon Shield. Remember, two gym leaders are different here in, in Shield or in Sword than there are in Shield. Look at that, walking like pimps. Oh my god. Mm, 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 mm. The fighting farmer, here's the grass type expert, Milo. The raging wave, it's the master of water types, Nessa. Mm, 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 mm. The ever burning man of fire, here comes the fire type veteran, Kabu. The Gala Karate prodigy, nobody's better than fighting types than B. Mm, 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 mm. The master of fantastic theater, it's the charming fairy type user, Opal. The Hard Rock Crusher, please welcome Rock-type Master, Gordy. And last but not least, the Tamer of Dragons, it's Ryan, the top gym, uh, gym leader. Unfortunately, we're missing one, but... These are the gym leaders that are that we are in the Gallery Region proud to call our own. Wait, who's missing? Wasn't it that Ghost-type kid? I don't know. Who's missing? Hmm. All right, dramatic slow walk to the pitch. This might be a dream. Look at that, look at that. Okay, so that's a lot of people. Trust me guys, I've been in situations like this before. And well, that was a pretty good ceremony right there. Standing there on the pitch in the stadium in front of everyone? There's really no words for it, but I barely contain I can barely contain myself. My heart is racing. And uh you made it at last, Hop. You and you too, Draven. Oh dang. So you're the two trainers our champions endorsed himself. Welcome, and I and it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Oh, and what's this? I see you both already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful! It seems the two of you have been led here by the guiding light of the wishing stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax uh, bands, you know. I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good. Very good indeed. That means that the whole Gala region is in for some excitement. The gym challenge is an, ex an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. Now, I'm terribly sorry, but there is some urgent business I need to attend to, so I must be on my way. Best of luck to both of you. Okay, alright, cool. He, he, he's, he's got a pretty snazzy suit, I'm just gonna say that right now. The chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now, listen closely, you two. 
you've both only started uh, on your path as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves too. Let's do it, Draven. You know the gym challenge has set the order that uh, you've got to visit uh, the the gyms in, right? The first is in Turffield, Turffield, and to get there, we need to get to Route Three, which is true. Okay, so the gym challenge is an event in which aspiring trainers travel around the Galar region to try to collect the gym badges from eight of its gyms. To earn the gym badge, you have to complete the gym's mission and also defeat gym leader. Okay, alright, so that's that right there, and I think we need to do one last thing before, you know, we, we start doing anything else, okay? Again, going off screen, capturing a boatload of Pokemon. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, if we could only hurry up with this load screen, that'd be great! That would be great. Challenger Draven, the chairman has asked me to deliver a gift to you. Really? What kind of gift are we talking about here? It gives such a wonderful thing from the chairman, such a wonderful man. <clears throat> Excuse me, the gift is access by, to flying taxis. They allow you to, in a word, fly. Calling a flying taxi will allow you to travel quickly back to the areas you've already visited. And dang, just like that. Now, here's a funny thing, guys. When I first started playing Pokemon Sword and Shield, I literally thought you had to fly. I took the long routes to get to other cities, which was embarrassing. And then I realized that there was flying taxis, and that was, uh, yeah, that was very embarrassing. If you use the flying taxi service, one of our one of their well-trained corp knights will have you zipping across the Gala region to your desired destination in no time at all. Just open up the X menu and use the town map to choose where you want to go. It's as easy as that. If it's all right with you, I'll read the segment from the flying taxi's user manual. Ahem. Press X and select the town map option to choose the place you'd like to go. Anyway, Dra anyway, your goal should be Turfield, isn't it right, Draven? When, when traveling to the new place, it's best to get there, get there on your own two legs, don't you? Or don't you think? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's see. Um, before we do anything else, uh, I, I, I was I had my eye on this. Yes, we found three burn heels, which is going to be useful for later on right there. And, well, is there something else right here too? Nope, there's nothing right there. Uh, there might be something else on the other side. Um, let's see. Right here? Yes, I see a... No. Well, Nope, it's not a Pokeball. I uh, see something shiny right there, and we found ourselves a Repel. Pretty awesome. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to get a little bit of a sweep right here. As you can see, people are cheering for all, all of us right here. And that will lead into the next uh, Pokemon Center, I believe. Could be wrong. Yeah, the next Pokemon Center. So, let's see. Um, I kind of want to do a little something right here. I kind of want to get right behind these people. Thank you for cheering on for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, but there is a little something something that I kind of kind of want to or I, where I kind of want to stop at. And that is at the very first Pokemon Center. Because remember, off screen, I am going to go ham on capturing all these Pokemon right here. I, I, I did skip through a lot, guys, just to get to Turfield because it's a lot of tutorial, guys. But now that we've completed all of this, in the next episode, don't be too surprised if you see a Pokemon evolved here and there, a little buffed up, and we have a crap ton of Pokemon right here. Um, so I'm going to stay right here, guys. Okay, so big thing about this walkthrough is, yes, it's heavily edited. It is going to be, you know, it is because of the new equipment that we have here that this is a second chance to make things better for me and not well not just for me but for you as well guys um hell i'm playing pokemon shield off screen and i'm way past uh, everything so you might see some trades you might see some pokemon that you haven't seen right here now uh another thing too that i like to talk about is we're going to have a lot of pokemon that are probably going to be a lot of, like they're, they're probably going to be over leveled okay and they're going to be from different games, nicknamed and all that crud. And they're going to be from, uh, you know, previous teams and all that stuff. That way we don't we don't have to capture them right on screen or anything like that. But we will be capturing different Pokemon. And we will be, you know, we will be taking advantage of the whole Pokemon jobs thing uh, here for, you know, everything that we do. So, again, thank you guys for being supportive. Thank you guys for watching this walkthrough, this episode. Um, Yeah. 
hit the subscribe button, notifications button. Yes, there will be another walkthrough episode next week. You know, we're doing five episodes a week. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to make a small donation to the channel, links down there in the description below. I will see you guys in the next episode, all buffed up and ready to go. See you guys.